Hey, folks. Welcome to Pokemon Y. This is a game that I've wanted to do a series on for quite a while, but haven't really had the means to. It's a 3DS game. Uh, it's one of the two main uh, Generation 6 Pokemon games. And you can already see it's really making use of that 3DS uh, hardware. Using full 3D models for characters and for Pokemon. Now, I have mixed feelings on the Generation 6 games, but one thing that they did absolutely right, except for one thing that I'll complain about later, um, is that they have character customization. Not just choosing from these three defaults, but customization beyond that later. Um, and if you've seen my Dark Souls series, which you should totally watch, um, you'll know that I love me some character customization. So I figured with uh, Generation 7 just around the corner, um, it was high time that I revisit Generation 6 and uh, kind of give it its, its fair shake. Um, I wasn't thrilled with it when it first launched, but you know, I'll give it another shot and, and have a have a better understanding of where they're leaping off from for Generation Seven. Now, already you can tell they're really showing off the fact that they have full 3D models by changing the camera angle dynamically and being like swoosh. Alright, so, nice touch number one. Um, they actually made a custom pajama outfit um, that you can't wear in the rest of the game, but they were like, yeah, let's, let's have them not sleep in their adventuring clothes. That seems like a reasonable thing. Got a mirror. We got a very, very large shelves here. You can see they're empty. We did just move into town, according to the uh, the deep lore of this game. Alright, let's head downstairs. Oh, we can run indoors and run from the start. It's always good. Uh, how about I don't? Fine. Link would never have to do this. Styling. So yeah, it's a very blue outfit to start with. Just got a red hat and the sunglasses up there, but otherwise very blue. And we've got a Fletchling here. I don't know if it's a family Fletchling or if it's just kind of, I don't know, wandered in. We've got a fireplace right under the, uh, the HDTV. So that little bit on the TV, that's a, that's a little bit of a side... Not even a side story, a little bit of backstory that you'll explore um, or hear a little bit about going on through the game. By the way, here's some here's some NPCs. Uh, but the your mom it is a famous Rhyhorn racer, and so occasionally someone will mention her, or you'll see her on TV or see that story on TV, and you see that Rhyhorn down in the bottom right corner. See, there it is. Um, she's retired, and apparently in her in her retirement, she decided to move to Kalos. Anyway, this is Serena and Shauna. They're two of our rivals here in uh, Y version. 
There are a lot of rivals in this game. We'll get to that. Here's Rhyhorn. I don't know. I think that's really cute, actually. Even though it's like a, you know, solid stone behemoth. It's just kind of sleeping out on the on the front lawn, chillaxing. It's actually having a good retirement, unlike a lot of racing animals. Anyway, we're here in, what is it, Vanneville Town? Yeah. So Vanneville, um, all the towns in Kalos, all the cities, etc., um, are in some way related to plants. Um, I'm not sure if it's flowers specifically or what, but Vanneville um, comes from vanilla. It's like vanilla town. Hey. Anyway, we could poke around here. There's some NPCs. There's nothing super exciting, though. Um, over here, I believe this is Serena's house. Yeah. So why don't we why don't we meet Serena's family? Man, our TV is so much bigger. I guess we can afford it because we're uh, the children of the rich and famous. Now, unlike I think uh, Gen Three. I believe your character will always move into this house. It doesn't matter uh, which sex you're, you choose at the beginning. Anyway, welcome to Route 1, Vanneville Pathway. Um, so first thing to note um, is that every route now has its own special name um, in addition to its route number. So this is Vanneville Pathway. It's a pathway close to Vanneville. And it's it's a straight line. It is there's nothing here. It just shows off the uh, the dynamic camera angles and how it can move and zoom in, um, showing off the hardware. And I mean, it does that. And the first time you go through, it's like, wow, look at that. The 3DS can do such wondrous things. Um, but I think the greatest crime here is that it. Generally, you'll just run straight through, and you won't get to hear this really quite catchy first route music. It's one of the, it's a really good tune. Uh, next time we come through here, I'll just dash straight through, and you'll hear just how little you actually get to hear. Anyway, welcome to Aqua Aquacord Town, city, town. I think it's a town. Um. A, it's a larger town for sure. It's kind of the uh, more urban area compared to the suburbs of Vanneville. And I didn't know that this special camera angle was here. That's very nice. Um, now, I don't know what plant Aquacord is related to, but I'm willing to bet they chose it because of that river. That's the, that's the aqua part. I don't know. It could be aquamarine. I don't know. I'm not a botanist. Anyway, you can see them tables here. Um, there are a lot of cafes in this game. These don't actually function as cafes, though. Those come later. Anyway, welcome to the Rival Gang. Or the Rival Group, I should say. Gang's probably a loaded term when it comes to Pokemon games. So the, uh, the one in the black on the left is Tierno. And the one on the right is Trevor. And those descriptions that Serena just gave are basically all that they have to their characters. Tierno likes to dance. Trevor is, is book smart. Anyway, nicknames. If, if, you're, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, and you can also pick your own. 
Now, these only come up occasionally. They're only used by these five characters. You being one of the five. Um, let's go with Big J. Just to compensate for something. Anywho, here are our three starter Pokémon for the game. We've got, uh, in Pokédex order, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. Now, I have a whole video dedicated to my feelings on these Pokémon from when they were first announced. Um, my feelings have softened a bit, but Chespin is still far and away my favorite. Not that I'm going to use any of them, because if you've seen my Pokémon series before, you know that I don't use starter Pokémon on my teams. So, it's, it's really more of a formality, and it's sort of, sort of a tradition for me to choose the grass type. Um, let's not bother with the nickname. So, on the matter of all these rivals here, um, one of my main critiques of the... Uh, of X and Y is that it kind of took a couple wrong cues from the successes of Black and White. Black and White introduced more rivals. It had um, had uh, Bianca and Charon. Charon. And N was sort of a rival too. Um, and all those characters had their own clearly defined personalities and arcs, and they were interesting and cool and good. Um, and X and Y was like, let's do more of them! So now you have Serena and Shauna, who are a little bit better developed, um, and then Tierno and Trevor, who are just... They're there sometimes, and they have little, small character traits. They're... They're not very interesting, and as a result, I feel like all of them are a little bit less developed than they could be. I'm going to do my best to uh, look closely and, and analyze the character arcs that do exist, uh, especially for Serena and Shauna. Um, I'm going to try my damnedest with Trevor and Tierno, but I don't think those are going to yield many results. Anyway. Um, let's not, uh, explore Aquacore just yet. Let's report to our mother. Oh, forgot about this. Tutorial battle. So here's a, a shift from how tutorial battles have worked before. Um, traditionally in Pokémon, your tutorial battle would be actually against a Pokémon that Nominally, you're not very effective against, although it doesn't really matter because nobody had elemental moves. Now, not only are you up against someone you're strong against, you have an elemental move. You have Vine Whip, Bubble, or Ember, I think, uh, depending on uh, which Pokémon you chose. So you can immediately get a sense of type effectiveness. Um, if you're a newbie to the Pokémon series, and you're just trying out different moves, you'll try Tackle and be like, okay, that's, that's all right. And then you'll try Vine Whip, it's like, wow, it says super effective and it did a, did a lot of damage. I, I have learned something through experimentation. Um, it's sort of played with that in Gen 5, where you faced both your rivals in short succession. Um, but this, I think, is actually a more effective um, tutorial than the previous tutorials we've had in the series. Alright, now I'm gonna charge through Route 1 and I want you to listen to just how little of the music you hear. Ta-da! That's it. That's all you get. It is a darned shame. Because I remember Route 1 in, in Gen 1, to be a Gen 1-er for a little bit, 
you know, you were there for a while, and that was a supremely catchy theme, and one of the reasons it sticks with you is that you get to hear more than two seconds of it. Man, even the game kind of realizes how sexy Sycamore is. Did I say that out loud? I guess she's just kind of ready to let us go out into the world alone. Anyway, you may have noticed that she said she packed a change of clothes. That'll come in handy. I'm excited for that. Oh, hey, Rayhorn. Cute. See, it's got a it's got a little pink ball there that I guess it plays with, and it's got a little like a beach ball that it doesn't puncture with its horn apparently. So cute. All right, with that taken care of, let's head out to uh, the rest of Aquacord Town here. So, Aquacord Town doesn't actually have a Pokémon Center. It has... Mm, it's got awkward camera angle shift here. See, it's like... Doop. Um, it has two item shops and kind of an inn of sorts. Um, there's a medicine shop there. And there is a Pokéball shop there. And then you can heal your Pokémon for free there. Um, but Awkward Cord doesn't have all the amenities of, of a Pokemon Center. doesn't have, for instance, a PC. Let's look at the water here. It's nice water. Ooh, forgot about these. Yes, so... These are what are called photo spots. Um, alas, this one is under construction, but these are another one of those really inconsequential things that I love. Um, so that at certain points in your journey, you can take a little group photo with your team in various locations. It's nice. I'll be sure to do that. Um, anyway, before we head out to uh, Route 2, where we will encounter wild Pokémon, um, I'm gonna pack up on Pokeballs. And I always, I always buy 10 to start out with, um, so that I get a Premier Ball along with it. And then, we can go spend... We could go spend the rest of our money on potions. But I don't really want to. What I want to do is save it for clothes later on. So I'm just going to do that. We got a potion from the guy, it's fine. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this first episode. Um, and next time, we're going to head out to Route 2 and, uh, and start our Pokemon journey for real. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.